drop in safely with the four vultures. But Beast is straight away with the six dragoons there to counter, and Iris is gonna lose one vulture right off the bat, not dealing with any damage. Now the vulture is running into the natural expo, but Beast is bringing more dragoons around to cut that off. Uh, and Iris, I think, got one probe kill there. So excellent defense and micro by Bisu. Iris only getting the one probe kill, but I think with those vultures in Bisu's main, he might have seen the Stargate, which was gonna effectively nullify uh, Bisu's idea for going for those arbiters and leaving Iris blind to them, uh, and and coming in with a surprise recall and finishing him off with one finishing blow. Uh, but I feel this is a huge mistake, tactical error by Bisu, because what he's doing is he's allowing Iris to get that third expansion up and running. Whereas in the mid game, Bisu should have uh, translated Iris with the scan there, and you can see from Iris's mini map that a significant portion of Bisu's base is exposed. So Iris might have seen those, seen that arbitrary tribunal or that stargate, in which case he will anticipate uh, the drop from Bisu. Now Iris with vultures looks like, and looks like Iris is aware of the arbiter tribunal. He's aware that arbiters are coming. He's putting more spider mines down in his base. Uh, obviously, it's too late for the DT drop right now. Iris coming in with some more vultures. Meanwhile, Bisu expansion to the 12 o'clock position, trying to harass some probes and do some damage, and Iris is doing a good job of putting a little bit of pressure on Bisu, and I feel that Bisu has really let Iris back into this game. After the initial uh, build orders, I felt that Bisu was at a distinct advantage. Now, Bisu does have a good-sized army out as well, but Bisu was at a distinct advantage in terms of his economy, and when you go for that sort of build, I feel that you have to um, capitalize on that and, and, and prevent and keep that you know, economic edge, whereas what Bisu has done is by going for that tech rush, he's allowed Iris back into the game, and Bisu losing a couple of Dragoons to Spider Mines carelessly there, uh, and, and that's not what he needs, because when he's going to go for that recall, he wants to have the maximum sized army that he can have. Iris, meanwhile, has got a decent number of siege tanks out. He's setting up a defensive uh, perimeter. He's got that expansion up and running at the 5 o'clock position. I feel that Iris is in a decent position in this game, but it's going to come down to that first couple of recalls, those first couple of recalls or stasis from Bisu. If he can do a good job with them, he can have Iris once again coming in for, with some vultures trying to harass Bisu, but Bisu's got enough Dragoons there this time to ward him off. This time Iris trying to harass at that 1 o'clock position. So Bisu has got 4 bases to Iris' 3, but that doesn't matter. Terran is used to playing 1 base less against the Protoss uh, and are comfortable playing uh, 1 base less against Pro Protoss. Iris coming in again with the the dropship hoping that this time Bisu will have slightly less defenses. Now the scan going off. Uh, he's seen that photon cannon there and um, he's probably not really going to be able to do too much damage with this drop. Bisu's uh, consistently kept some units there behind in order to prevent Iris from doing that. But Iris is going to come in. He's going to drop one siege tank. Uh, he's going to try and mark the siege tank away. Dropship taking some damage from the Dragoons. Dropship just survives with a sliver of health, just escapes, and the fan covering her face in her hands. I think she wanted that dropship to go down. I think that's a Bisu fan there, folks. Arbiter is now out for Bisu, but Iris has got the science facility up. He's going to be getting those science vessels out. He spotted the Arbiters, and another spider mine right at the heart of Bisu's goons. He really did not need that. Those goons uh, are pretty much half health overall. That's not a good position to be in. And it looks like Iris sending an SCV around to the 9 o'clock base. Might be looking to set up an expansion there. Um, uh, Iris now running in with Vulture straight through Bisu's front door. Uh, there are some Zealots there uh, under that Arbiter. Uh, but um, he's again going to be doing a little bit of harass uh, and, and try and kill a couple more probes of Beast's economy. Scan going off as well. I don't think he really needed that. Uh, those vultures get taken out. There are only a handful of vultures anyway. Uh, Beast, meanwhile, looks like he's preventing Iris from getting the expansion at the 9 o'clock position. Iris has got a decent number of siege tanks out in the field. He's got good defenses in his base. He's putting turrets up. He's got spider mines down. It's going to be difficult for Beast to get that killer recall into Iris's base without losing units in the process. Iris with double armory as well. Upgrade. It looks like he's got two upgrade, uh, two attack on his siege tanks. It's hard for me to tell. Again, resolution in Windows movie maker not that great unfortunately uh, while commenting you guys will probably have a better resolution once it's rendered uh, it's because probably because of the smaller size of the window that I'm commenting on as well Iris continue to put more turrets down and yeah Iris is in a very good position now I feel guys it's it's, it's down to Bisu now to, to make the make the running and make the attack because he's committed himself to these arbiters and really if he allows Iris to get uh, that Terran war machine up and running uh, and continue continue to macro up and get those science vessels out uh, then uh, then Bisu is going to find it uh, incredibly difficult to break Iris down and Iris can just do that kind of slow turn, crawl across the map, taking territory inch by inch, uh, and just letting uh, his opponent's armies break against his wall. It looks like Bisu now moving in with our Arbiter, just standing off of Iris's main, uh, and yeah, I guess Bisu feels that he does need to go and do something. Now it looks like he does, he feels, and it looks like he's putting a second star get down as well to really pump those Arbiters out. Uh, Iris can just send out solitary vultures just to scout and keep an eye on Bisu's true positions, and he's done a good job of multitasking this game, I feel, Iris. Now it looks like Bisu might be coming in. There are a couple of turrets there. He's going to see them, however, before he gets in, so he's just going to circle around them. He's going to persist with this drop. I feel he's coming in. Uh, I'm not sure what Iris has. Iris has a little bit of a gap. And now the recall coming in right on top of Iris's factories, as well as uh, near the supply depots. Iris could be in potential a little bit of trouble here because there's that narrow choke for him to bring back. A couple of vultures come back in. They're going to get picked off straight away. Uh, EMP from the science vessels on all of Bisu's dragoons. That's not going to be good, but Iris losing supply depots. Uh, Iris has brought a couple of siege tanks back. Uh, Bisu, though, however, is continued to pound away at Iris's buildings. Uh, if Bisu can focus a couple of factories down, that will be huge. It will slow Iris's macro down, but looks like Iris is slowly but surely clearing this out. He's now bringing more reinforcements through. The Dragoons are dying slowly but surely. I think Iris in the end is only killed. Now it looks like Iris is... Um 
circling, uh, Beastful circling around with his main forces, but it looks like Aris has managed to save his base. Uh, Goliath is probably going to take that Arbiter down as well, but it looks like Beastful is going to counter at the front door, hoping that he's, Aris has pulled his, and that's brilliant tactics by Beastful, hoping that Aris has pulled his forces away from the front door to defend his main. Uh, he's now going to counter at Aris's front, it looks like, or that expansion potentially at the 5 o'clock position, try and take advantage of this opportunity coming in with the Arbiter, but it looks like uh, Beastful hasn't really attacked there. Aris still just trying to clear out uh, the straggling forces of Beastful's remaining. Beastful coming in at the front door, looks like he's not really going to be able to do much. The Dragoons coming in first, no Zealots in there, and they're just running into a range of tank shells uh, and just being slaughtered before they even get within range and get a single shot off. Talk about dying before the fight even begins. Now the Zealots come in, but Iris meanwhile has cleared out his main and brought the Vultures back, and he's got a good spread of siege tanks, uh, and Bisu unfortunately, uh, with the Zealots coming in a lot later than the Dragoons, hasn't been able to, hasn't timed that attack well, uh, and I feel that that counter has come too late. He really needed to time that attack better. He needed to have his forces attacking Iris' front door at almost at the same time uh, after he'd recalled, or even a few seconds after he'd recalled to really force Iris to split his forces. Uh, Bisu is going to be able to get into that expo of Iris' at the 5 o'clock position, take a couple of turrets down. It'll be interesting to see if he can do some damage to Iris' economy. Iris, however, has uh, got more than enough forces there to mop this up, and you feel that Bisu has lost two large-sized armies in those attacks, and I'm not sure if he's done enough damage. He took a couple of supply depots down, he's killed a couple of turrets, uh, and, uh, and a small number of Iris' army, uh, but Iris is just going to be able to re-macro that quickly, uh, and now that his economy is booming, and I feel that Bisu is now uh, going to find himself a little bit behind in this game, and I've got to tell you guys, I'm just not at all happy with Bisu's choice of strategy in this game. Looks like Bisu's now put uh, another expansion down at the uh, 10 o'clock position, and now Bisu with an Arbiter and a uh, shuttle out as well, uh, and Iris is just absorbing. Iris is doing a brilliant job of defending. Normally, Iris is fam fam um, famous for his aggressive style of play, but now he's showing that he can play defensively as well when the need arises, and adapt to the occasion, and, and it's Bisu who's fine, and now Iris coming in with another little harass drop. He's been doing these little harassments throughout the game, and although they haven't really um, bled Bisu a lot, what they have done is they've been a constant irritant, a constant thing for Bisu to have to deal with, pull his probes off, and they've just been little things that are keeping Bisu dist distracted and keeping him from really focusing Iris down. Ar Bisu's going to be able to clear those two sea shacks out, however, but he was forced to pull the probes off the line. Meanwhile, looks like Bisu has cleared out the temple in the middle. Iris, meanwhile, rushing through with Vulture. He's got about six Vultures rushing through at Bisu's expansion at the... <coughs> 10 o'clock position, uh, and he's putting spider mines down as well. Beast has only got a